All right, so uh, this is the second part. It's just trying to make the videos not too long. So remember what we've done so far. We solved, we analyze the problem, we draw a diagram, a frame of reference, we properly organize our given information, the required information, and we found the time of flight, we found the range, and now we're gonna find the VFX, VFY, VF, and theta F. All right, the angle. So let me show you what is it we're gonna find. We're going to find, this is VFX. Remember, this is at point P. This is VFY, this is VF, and that's the angle. All right, so we're gonna find the components of the final velocity right here at this point, and the actual final velocity or impact velocity. So let's start. VFX, very simple, is the same as VX because it never changes, so it's uh, 52 meters per second. VFY, we're going to use any of the equations uh, that, uh, uh, that we know uh, because now we have a lot of information, uh, but the easiest one to use is that VFY equal to VIY plus acceleration times time. Right, uh, and uh, we have a time, we have the acceleration, we have VIY, we find VFY to be negative 63.1 meters per second, right? Um, so now let's find VF, and for VF we know that the VFY and VFX are the components, so we use Pythagorean theorem vfx squared plus vfy squared so we find the magnitude of vf to be roughly 81.7 meters per second we expected it to be greater than the initial velocity because it is going further down there than where it started right uh, where do i expect to have the same speed by the way for the projectile motion would have been at this point here right uh, to have the same speed and anything below it's going to go faster all right so let's go down to our calculations here we found vf and we're going to find out theta f the final angle we use again our knowledge of components of vectors T tan theta f is uh, the y component over the x component so theta is inverse tan of that uh, ratio. Uh, if you want to use the signs as well, we're going to get a negative angle, which is roughly negative 50.6 degrees. What does it mean negative? It means that final velocity is uh, 81.7 meters per second. 50.6 degrees below horizontal. All right. Now, the last thing that we wanted to find is that delta D from Y from 1 to 2, right? Which means a maximum height. Uh, let me show it on the diagram. We want to find this here. How far up did the projectile go before starting going down, all right? Uh, what do we know about that? Well, we know V2Y uh, to be zero. We know, we know which is the same as saying we know the final velocity. Uh, that's the top, right? We know VY, VIY, which is 39 meters per second and we know of course the acceleration negative 9.8 meters per second squared all right so we have one two three pieces of information so we can use that final last equation for a kinematics equation which is vfy squared is equal to viy squared plus two 
times the acceleration times the displacement, right? And we solve for delta d from 1 to 2. Right, so delta d from 1 to 2 on the y direction is vfy squared minus viy squared divided by 2 times the acceleration. That's the final equation. Uh, we sub in the numbers. We expect to get a positive number, and we will get a positive number, and that is 78.1 meters. So the projectile flew 78.1 meter above the edge of the cliff. All right. And this is how you solve a, uh, a projectile motion question. Okay. So we actually were able to find everything else here. There is more on D2L that you can practice with. Please do practice. Practice will make us better learners.